today I got more Mr. Beast drama to go over with you today. This saga is just getting even more insane. All right. So first up, so we got this ex-employee that has come out with some crazy allegations. All right. How they didn't deprive this man of sleep. How Mr. B's had a knowing sexual offender. He knew that one of his employees was a sex offender. That's why he was covering up his face. And then we got more. Put your seatbelts on. Right. So first we got this video right here where he calls it a war crime. How he didn't. They didn't allow him to sleep because they left the lights on and they wouldn't. He wouldn't allow them to turn the lights off. And let's just listen to what he got to say. And it got to a point where like. They weren't, they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them, did we like have like nighttime hours? You know, and they said no, because it would fuck up the time lapse shots. The time lapse. So I'm guessing this was a video that he was doing uh, uh, with Mr. Beast. And it was a, 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 some kind of video where they had to leave lights on and stay up and whatnot. But my man here is just like, hey, I need, I need some sleep. I'm tired, bro. Like, can we... You know what I'm saying? Just turn the lights off. It'll, it'll fuck the shot up. Fuck that, nigga. I'm, I'm tired. Fuck you mean. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? After what? Me sleeping? Or me not sleeping? Yeah, I saw in other videos they did a... Uh, it's like, oh, you're going to get XYZ hours of sunlight. Oh, great. Why well, don't know how they figured that one out? I didn't have it. <laughs> you know, I, I, one of the things was you got to take away your clock so you didn't know what time it was. Okay, I got no access to sun. I got no access to clock. I don't know, like... The, the, the lights are on me all the time. The, listen to what he just ex, 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 uh, described to you. He doesn't know where the sun is. He doesn't know what time it is. That is psychological torture, bruh. You can't do that to people. You can't keep me people uh, uh, locked. That's, that's like terrorist shit. You know what I'm saying? That's like what the CIA do at Guantanamo Bay. You can't just leave people locked up, no sun, no clock, so they don't know what time it is. They don't know if it's day, they don't know if it's nighttime. And you just got these people with the lights on in this room. That, that's messing with their brain, man. I, I wasn't sleeping. I, I could not sleep. And I, I have insomnia problems now, um, but I, I, they might have started there. I had good people looking out for me. <sighs> if they weren't telling you, dog, that you need to get out of there, because of what the hell is going on with your with, with, with these videos, I, I don't know how good of a people they are, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if you was my homie and I seen that shit going on, I'd have told you, hey, look, man, it's time to go. It's time to go, bro. I had a lot of good people looking out for me saying, this, this, we got to stop. So I, I, them's the homies. Them's the homies. I just wanted to turn the lights off. And I'm, I'm vocalizing to people. I wish the lights would turn off. And I go up to my friend, my, 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 my good friend. And I go, I go, they're not turning the lights off. He goes, what? That's a war crime. We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. <laughs> and then the, in the, the, uh, little, the, uh, what is this? Evidence or, or a little cutout he put up. He says, yes, the United Nations considers sleep deprivation to be a form of torture and a war crime under the Geneva Convention and the UN Torture Convention. Dog, there's no video that important in which sleep deprivation what? No, no, bro. No, nah, this is the kind of shit they got going on in Mr. B Studios. <laughs> Twenty-four hours breaking the Geneva Convention, I guess is what we're doing. Um, so you know, they they're, they're giving me, you know, melatonin. You know, it's not helping. You know, and then and then Jimmy would come in like every other day for like an hour, you know, to check in on me because he's doing other stuff. You know, I'm just. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy, man. No video should be more important than someone's sanity, their health. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely not. And I'm glad he listened to his, his homies that told him, hey, look, man, it's time to it's time to stop. It's time to get out of this. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this is crazy. All right. But this ain't as crazy as what I'm about to show you. OK, so next is how same guy he's come out saying how that there was a known registered sex offender on Mr. Beast at his company and you and worked with him and he and, and they knew about it you know what I'm saying and he how he was in certain videos in thumbnails 
know what I'm saying? But he had a mask on. Why you got a mask on, bro? But I have context to why such said person was a sex offender. All right. But first, we're going to watch this former employee allegations. Well, there was a known sex offender, registered sex offender, convicted sex offender on the registry and everything who worked there. And like you can, you know, someone pees in public, you're on the registry, you know, you, you get it. You can still have a job after you're on the, you, that, that's not one, that's one thing. You know, you go to prison, you get rehabilitated, that's one thing. You know, like if you do your time, that's fine. I, I think there should be read the rehabilitation in this country. But that guy, from what I hear, like I can't confirm or deny, from what I hear, he's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people. And they knew that. And he's working at a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. And they covered up the fact that not only did he work there, but he was like the manager when it all started. And you know that he knew and because he'll be in videos. He'll be in thumbnails. He's, he'll be around. And whenever he, he, he is, he's wearing a mask. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you conceal your face? It's like, you, what, what are you concealing? That you are a registered sex offender? And that your face can be looked up on a thing? How much more can you literally cover up a sex offender? With a physical mask? Like, do I have to... Is, how, is it more on the nose? Or... I, I don't know why they let him go because there's, there's rumors back and forth. You know, so I don't know why they let him go. But he did leave at one point. Even if... Crazy. Now... In context with uh, uh, said sex offender, there has been some new evidence, well, come out from Jake the Viking, who, you know, used to work there too. And he says, here's the truth. Yes, Delo, er, now, I'm not 100% if the same guy he's talking about here, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, because, you know what I'm saying? Right here. You know what I'm saying? This is how old the person was. And even when you went back and saw the other one. Okay. So this is what he says about said person. Yes, Delaware is my brother-in-law. He, uh, he is a registered, you know what? When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others wrongdoings when she was 11. Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there was no jail time, but he still had to register. His nickname isn't Delaware because he can't go back to Delaware. He's from Delaware. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's been back several times. Now, I have heard of people getting kicked out of their state for less, and they better not come back. Just saying. He was hired before I was and was actually the reason I got hired at Mr. Beast. Before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mom, and explained, explained to them everything. So, yes, Jimmy knew. But again... This incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017, 2018. Delaware was also let go from the company before I was. Delaware was supposed to be a behind the scenes manager, but in a couple of videos, he was asked to partake because we needed people. He was reluctant, especially in the straight jacket video because of his charges. And that's why he wore the mask. Now, this is where I blame not Jake the Viking, but his brother-in-law. Because if you knew, because you already knew what your allegations was, what happened in your past, you should have said no. I don't give a damn that they needed people for the video. You should have said no, because you knew if anybody would have picked up like we have, well, not me, but how people have, it was going to all, your past is going to come back and bite you. You should have said no and stayed out of the video and just no, doesn't, didn't matter. Shouldn't have mattered. Delaware's charges are set to be dropped this fall. Delaware has been nothing but a good person and amazing husband to my sister and the best father to my two nieces that I could ever ask for. They want no part in this and want to get just live their lives away from the limelight. I understand why anyone would be upset and frustrated over these allegations, and I do not blame them. Hurting kids in any way is completely unacceptable. But in the case of Delaware, I firmly believe he did nothing wrong, and I look forward to the day these charges are dropped. Thank you. Now, he is getting ripped to pieces over this response. You know what I'm saying? Because people are, are saying that, well, he knew he should have said something. He's no better than Mr. Beast than this, 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 yada, yada. But here's the key fact that a lot of people want to skip over. He was accused of doing something, never proven. OK, and we all know how much an accusation can destroy someone's life. OK, and that seems to be what is going on with said brother-in-law of 
Jake the Viking that was working at Mr. Beast that was registered you know what. Okay? And if what Jake says is true, I'm, I'll am i give the benefit of the doubt to the guy. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like that shit. I don't like when dudes get framed for doing something they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. This ain't cool. But at the same time, why did Jimmy ask him to be in the video? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know this dude is is likely to be, you know what I'm saying, outed as, you know what I'm saying, as a registered you-know-what. You know what I'm saying? Why would you put him in that predicament? Why did he agree to be in put in that predicament? I don't know. I'm just, hey, I'm just a messenger. I'm just covering this cornucopia of mess that Mr. Beast got going on in his studio. It is Mr. Beast and his whole, this is burning down in glorious fashion because Mr. Beast could have came out and addressed all of this. He could have came out and addressed all of this, but he didn't, and he still ain't. He still hasn't said anything about this. How he's covering up videos, how he's retroactively going back in time five, six years ago and clipping and taking out things out of the video, out of videos, deleting mass, deleting comments. What is Mr. Beast trying to hide? Look, man, if more come out about this Mr. Beast stuff, best believe I'm gonna cover it because this is getting, this is getting wild. Let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section down below and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one with your boy signing off. Peace.